Antiretroviral medications are used to prevent the perinatal transmission of HIV from an infected mother to her baby. But this benefit needs to be weighed against the potential toxicity and adverse pregnancy outcomes associated with combination antiretroviral therapy. The PROMISE trial enrolled 3,529 women in the second trimester of pregnancy who had asymptomatic HIV infection with a CD4 count of 350 or more and randomized them to one of three groups. The zidovudine alone group received zidovudine during pregnancy, a single dose of nevirapine intrapartum, and tenofovir emtricitabine postpartum. The zidovudine ART group received combinations zidovudine, lamivudine, lopinavir, ritonavir during pregnancy and postpartum. And the tenofovir ART group received combination tenofovir, emtricitabine, lopinavir, ritonavir during pregnancy and postpartum. Rates of discontinuation due to toxicity were low across all groups. The primary outcome was the percentage of neonatal HIV infections measured one week postpartum. An interim analysis of the study demonstrated that the rate of early transmission of HIV was 1.8% in the zidovudine alone group, as compared with 0.5% in the combined zidovudine ART group and 0.6% in the tenofovir ART group, both significantly lower than in the zidovudine alone group. However, the zidovudine ART and tenofovir ART groups had higher rates of maternal chemical abnormalities than the zidovudine alone group. Zidovudine ART and tenofovir ART were also associated with more adverse pregnancy outcomes, such as low birth weight and preterm delivery. The authors conclude that combination antenatal ART resulted in significantly lower early HIV transmission than zidovudine alone, but at higher risk of adverse maternal and neonatal outcomes. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.